got one in the siding here. The brake pistons out. His brakes are set. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm going to make a demonstration on how to make your own chuck and key on how to see that square hole in there. You got to have a railroad plate to stick this nail in first. And then this goes right in that square hole. Of course, your railroad plate comes up. You just push down on that railroad plate and it turns a quarter turn counterclockwise and it pulls them pins. That way that door opens up. But good luck getting that off. That big shank seal. Even though it's empty. Sometimes it'll still lock them. You might be thinking, well, shoestring, you're in a bad place. Well, no, the road, next road crossing is up there about a half mile. Anything coming on this line, he'll blow, and I'll hear it that. And the same thing with the northbound. Yeah, don't even hear her. Ding, ding, ding. Now, up in Ames, Iowa, and several other big cities I've been to, they'll actually have an electronic speaker big big old speaker and it has a, a recording of a a train blowing his horn it's they don't even blow their horn it's just a a fake artificial train horn sound that blasts out of that there's his counterweight on the other side so it didn't take much effort to get this thing to go up or down kind of like an oil well it has the extra weight on the end of it. And you can add or take off depending on how long your shaft is up there. Go up to the... Yeah, he's half IM, half GM. Half junk, half IM. He's heading northbound. What they'll do when he gets to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the crew change after Hagerstown, they'll split this train in half. Go one direction with one and uh, break up, hump out the rest, the junk. Well, all these are turned dirty face. Oh, wait, no. He's going northbound. Never mind. I hear a leak in one of them hoses. I've seen that well before. Well, well, and well. I hear something. That may be a truck. But he's in the siding, so... See, with just that little rain shower we had, look at it, it's already rusting. It didn't rain but 20 minutes ago and it's already rusting the rail. Yeah, in the siding, perfect camp spot. Yeah. I should have got some bug spray. Seems like every year I get them darn chiggers. Yeah, you could roll out right here, set your tarp out, or make a lean to your bed roll out or a tent if you got one. Sit here and wait 
for something to stop in the siding, which is exactly what's happened here. This is gonna be my new catch-out spot. Yes, indeed. I never, never catch out where everybody else does. Everybody always talks about where you need to go to catch out. I, I like it nice and quiet where there ain't no traffic. Well, that guy was mad. He was still waiting. Now, let's see if I can see any bugs, ticks, or chiggers going up my leg. Where is my lighter footwear? It, nice mattress. Now, I've done that. Find an old mattress put your tarp over the top of it then your bed row or if it's winter lay out some cardboard on it first then your tarp then you roll out your bed row I think that's corn up there in that field perfect spot for north or southbound they both usually stop Mm, find a ride, find a ride. Alright. Here we got wood there on we call that thousand mile paper. You can actually use it for a tarp, but it's not quite as heavy duty. We just call it thousand mile paper. Thousand mile tarp. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. Look, empty plug door. Yeah. Uh, can't do it on that side. They unload the other side anyway. Trying to do it with one hand. Yep, just counterclockwise. See, when you turn that, the door comes outward. See, this, this arm turns out like this and pulls that whole door out. And then it'll roll back. But see, it's on these wheels. And they're always kept oiled. So it rolls really easy rows open that was kind of leaning actually now I see I think yeah just regular box car after this plug door now these they usually open these with a forklift they're so rusty they actually build special places Right here, that's for putting a forklift prong there, and then they push the door open with the forklift. Another one right here. The forklift tongs go in and they push the door open. There's a railroad plate. Yeah, you stick a railroad spike do one of these end holes then you go open that car carrier door I'll have to demonstrate that in a video one day well, a big ugly duckling here boy you know that thing is going to ride smooth boy I bet it's nice and cool up in there too been shady all day yeah it, this one's loaded then he's up back on down to some IM containers of course them are empty 
those were unloaded down in Birmingham yeah I have to get my machete out and whack whack a little hole back there I'll have to see what's on the other side usually when I find a new place to catch uh, I try to have two camps in case you run off from one kind of like a a gopher having uh, extra entrance and exit to their hole in the ground well as long as it don't rain anymore I don't think it is I looked at my Doppler radar app and there's nothing really all that close uh, oh, they got it going a little bit too low for that activate that bell that ding 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 switch yeah that one needs servicing it's supposed to do that <laughs> there Yeah, they're both north northbound that junk train that we were looking at is just letting this train get ahead of it it's more priority they're both going the same direction but Keep your eyes open for a rider. Cisco kid. Just that red one was one of them T12548 the floor in the bottom. Yeah, these pink ones with one on them, those are fairly new. That's funny, there's usually only one of them on a train. might be picking up that crew of the other train too gonna stop gonna stop gonna stop stop stopping by that worker
weird coincidence, both of these trains stopping. Half bag log. He'll go all the way to Jersey City. Hey, let's get some beer. Alcoholic beverages. So they shipping glass bottle of beer in these now. Hmm. Check out this alcoholic beverage one. It is a whole tank. It kind of looked like one of them uh coil cars but yeah you can tell it's a round tank and it's plural not singular so you know if I was the owner of this I would just put radioactive or I wouldn't put that on there get broke into they're gonna know why Yeah, I couldn't believe I seen a T12548 well car go by that red one. Actually has a floor in it to ride. I think something's going on. Cause there was a worker walking that train there. And the head end of this train here, I got my hand on, stopped. Right up there where that worker was. He didn't even stop up there where the engine of the train is. Uh, I, they may be having some signal, some signal problems. Nobody walking up that other side either. <sighs> God, I hate that color of green. Reminds me of uh, cleaning gloves. Those rubber gloves that came up to your forearm, that color. Remember my mom washing dishes with them. Well, what a perfect setup. What oh, a bad suicide ride. Come on, let's go, let's go. 
Yeah, there's a northbound of the sighting. Yeah, not sure what's going on, but he pulled up right next to the head of the other one. That IM that was in the last part of the first part of the video is the one on the left, and that jump train is the one on the right. Come up here north of them. That next road crossing up. This is Massengill Drive. I don't know why they named it Massengill. Jeez. It's the name of a, you know, a douche. Massengill. 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 Uh, he could be having some engine trouble and that I am stopped to help. Otherwise, they would have pulled up all the way about right where I'm at. Hey, they'll pull up short of the signal right there. Yeah. Don't know what's going on down here. Sorry, I can't see the screen right now. It's too bright. So I don't know what I'm filming. They're going to blow the horn anyway before they go. Yeah, now at the south end of the siding. Definitely something's wrong. Piney Flats. Something is wrong in this. Uh, that IM pulled in and you can see that last car of it there. Both the head ends are equal with each other, but both crews are still there. I thought, well, maybe they're going to swap some power out. I've seen them do that before, but he would have already done that. Now I'm starting to think there may be a derail north of here. And they're just stuffing the trains in the siding. And that's the only logical thing I can think of now. Just north of here is a derail. And the reason the crew van hadn't come out and picked these guys up here yet is there's everybody's stopping their trains and there uh there's not enough crew change vehicles to go around so he's just waiting on him to be next to get picked up by crew van but no way to tell uh, go up here to this main switch See which switch it should be lined up with this track. I see he opened it back up. See, so when he train comes, gonna be on that outside line, so it'll be on the track on the left. It's lined to be, but the train on the right, you see there, that came in on this line. So they've already hit that. They've already switched the switch over since that train's come in. So he's actually kind of locked in on this end. But Yeah, I gotta keep listening to the radio to see if I hear anything about a, a derailment north of here. Boy, look at that storm coming too. See that wall cloud. It's kind of moving east northeast. It's gonna just barely skim by us. We'll still get wet though. Uh, yeah. 